Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our webinar, Using a Marketing Event Calendar to Help Drive Dealership Sales. My name is Christy Hector. I'm your training host for today, and I've been at Pure Cars for about three years as a digital strategy manager for the growth and the agency accounts. Um, so I work dealer direct with uh, both sides of the kind of both sides of the totem pole, dealer direct clients and agency partners. So I get to operate on a lot of sides of the digital space in the automotive industry. Today's agenda is going to be focused on a few things. Why we have a marketing calendar, what events you may want to track, strategy for marketing event calendars, some key takeaways, and then I'll have some time for questions and answers. To get started, I want to talk a little bit about why your calendar matters. So to me, the three main benefits of having a marketing calendar is going to be one, to align, align goals with the dealership, provide a reason for, a, you know, provide a why or a reason why um, a customer is going to want to purchase. And then it'll also help you plan for sales events that are coming down the pipeline. So to start with aligning dealership goals. Couple of things that you can do. If you can see here this graphic, the service bay, new and used. So all of these things are gonna tie in together in your dealership. Get your new used and fixed operations departments to work together to support each other's goals. So an example of this, say you know your service bay is doing really, really well, they're killing it, but your new or your used department is really having a hard time getting people to you know flip over and make that sale. So while you have customers inside of that service space, something that your new or your use um, sales manager can do is maybe take a look at the cars and drop a trade-in value uh, in those cars while they're getting their car service. And that'll be something you know that's a really easy way you know after you get you know after you've got that customer in um, in your in your uh, service bay, it's a really good way to flip them over. So when you know those goals, when you maybe market something that is really really you know taking off for you, you can have those other departments really help you out with. Um, meeting those goals across the board. And just one real quick tip, never let a new purchaser walk out of the dealership without scheduling their first service appointment. So once you get them in the door, that's just kind of something, you know, off the, off the record, you want to make sure you do that and it'll help you out a lot. So starting with telling your customers why. You want to appeal to the need. With that being said, you can take a look at this couple that we have over here. Now, I don't know if they are celebrating maybe a graduation. Maybe they're celebrating a promotion. I don't know. Maybe they won a lottery. But they're obviously celebrating a life event or some type of event, and they are buying a car. With that being said, you can really play to that life event. Figure out that why, why that customer is, is there in the dealership in the first place. So play off of that life event and then offer exactly what you have for them. Maybe, they, maybe they're looking for a, fine, a, a good finance deal. Maybe they're looking for some lease offers. Or, you know, if they're having a few struggles and they're looking for a subprime, subprime offer or subprime financing, this is something that you can do now that you know that major life event. You can now tie whatever specials or whatever deals or something that your dealership is good at. You can now tie that to that major life event to make sure that they have all of the information that they're going to need from you. Planning ahead. This is going to be something that's super, super important. People plan ahead to buy a car. Why would you not plan ahead to sell the car to them? Plan ahead to market to them. These are going to be some things that you really want to take advantage of and think about when you're planning your marketing sales calendar. So these are the things that's going to help you with creating that hype ahead of time. It's going to drive continuous traffic to your site, drive continuous traffic to your dealership, keeping existing customers, creating your brand awareness and getting more customers. So planning ahead really helps out with all of these key points and not just, you know, not just for the sake of planning. You're going to continue to drive traffic over and over again and making sure that people are aware of you when they're looking for you. A few examples of some typical sales events that you can always take advantage of. I'm sure everyone is familiar with a few of these. So you've got Truck Month, Ram Truck Month, Jeep Freedom Days, Honda Dream Garage Spring Event. Subaru, a lot to love event. That's something that's going on right now. Memorial Day is right around the corner. We're about two months out from Memorial Day, 4th of July. VW sign and drive. So these are things that you see recurring over and over again that probably are going to happen every year that your dealership can take advantage of. You're going to always be known for this, and this is going to be something that you can always take advantage of to make sure that you're marketing and you can put these on your calendar to plan ahead. A couple of other sales event ideas. So if you're thinking about, you know, your typical, you've got your typical events, right? So now let's start to think outside of the box. 
instead of you know always relying on those typical annual 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 events excuse me think about some things that are really outside of the box for you so tax season that's going on right now we got five weeks in the month we got five weekends in the month of march so things may seem a little slow right now but you have to think about the fact that now we've got an extra weekend in march and tax season is upon us people are going to get those additional tax refunds and they're going to be looking for somebody to spend their money with why not take advantage of that and push out some ad copy and push out some deals for your people that are taking advantage of tax season maybe your dealership anniversary if you take a look at one of these ads that we have over here, Ron Hibbert, the 31st annual tent sale event. That's something that they do every year, obviously. You've got a test drive incentive event is something that you can do. Maybe even sponsor or host some local events. So having those specials are also going to help you interact with your local community and build trust. These are great ways to eliminate the sometimes negative stigma around car dealerships. And you know those car dealer sales stigma. You a lot of times you have that negative that negative perception, and you want to make sure that you're getting in the in the local community and letting them know that everything is okay and you're a good person to do business with. You're also given opportunities to interact with your potential buyers and develop relationships that can turn into turn into buyers or even long term customers. So a couple of ideas also, I've seen events at dealerships to help or install baby car seats. So that's something that's really cool. Um, you're coming in to learn a new skill. You know, you've got those pregnant women that are like, oh my gosh, I'm expecting, I need some help. Or maybe even, you know, <laughs> send, send the husband in to, to learn how to get that, that car seat in the, in, the, <laughs> in the car. And then you may walk out learning how to do, learning how to install a car seat and now you've got a new car. <laughs> I've even seen something like a pet adoption day to show that an SUV is animal friendly. Um, and of course, what better way to get some people into your dealership by having a pet adoption day? Who doesn't want a new pet and learning, uh, you know, subsequently that their new pet crate is going to fit into their car? I mean, I think that's an awesome deal, right? You, all you're doing is, you know, making sure people want to come get their really cute pets. So we have an example calendar here. I actually... Um, Stole this from CDJR. It's an example of a marketing calendar that highlights themes and events for a dealership. So as you can see, this one is actually very, very robust. It's not something that you have to follow. Um, you don't have to always have the, you know, this many events on your calendar. It doesn't have to be this detailed, but it's also not very specific to the local dealership. So this is where you can see, you know, as marketing, sales, or a general manager can add some special events or incentives to make sure that you're touching on, you know, every month or maybe you want to do every, you know, every quarter as far as some different things that you want to do. So you can see here, I think it's really cool that, you know, CJR or Alex Chrysler is going to be um, doing some partnership with Toy Story 4. So I'm super excited to see what that's going to look like. Um, in the next couple of months. So be on the lookout for that. I'm a little interested to see what that's going to look like. So you want to bring that calendar to life. You just saw an example of a marketing calendar. How do you bring that to life? So three things that you want to do. Keep your messaging consistent across all of your advertising. Allocate budgets for events, especially recurring events that your dealership is known for. Keep in mind that the buying cycle can take 90 days or more. So you want to start to market your events early. By that, I mean target those customers before the event. 90 days or more out, you want to go after your high funnel researchers. Those are going to be the people that are looking for maybe what car is best for me? What's the best car on the market? What's the best sedan? What is the best SUV? Depending on what they're looking for. So these are going to be your researchers. They're going to be a little bit further out, but you want to target them early. 60 days out, those are your mid funnel and your browsers. Those are going to be the people that are trying to figure out, are they getting a good deal? What are the incentives that are offered? What are the different you know, price points and maybe MSRP? Anything that they can find that's gonna really help them move toward that purchase. And then when you move a little bit further down the funnel, this is the bottom of the funnel. These are gonna be your buyers. Low funnel, 30 days out. Where do I go to purchase? Where is this dealership? Where do I go to get my you know, Chrysler 300? Where do I go to get my Infiniti QX50? These are gonna be the people that are 30 days out, maybe even you know, one day out, but you wanna capture them in a different light. Be able to do that across all different types of advertising campaigns. So when you think about paid search, this is gonna be a little different, right? So when you go into Google or you go into Bing, you're gonna type in a question basically to get a real-time answer. The keywords that you're going to want to think about, uh, ad copy and budget. So those are going to be the top things that, you know, when you're doing a paid search campaign, 
for your marketing calendar, you want to make sure if you are, you know, advertising keywords such as a car dealership near me that you're going after probably um, a buyer because they're probably at that point in time now where they want to buy that car. Um, think about your ad copy as well. Making sure that all of the information is in your ad copy. Don't forget to put your dealership name in that ad copy. Don't forget to put your dealership name on the ads. So if you think about the key, the actual uh, graphic that we have over here to the right, there isn't a car dealership name on here, but that's because it's a generic offer. So if you look at it though, you see a lot of different things here. Get $500 off doing our Subaru A Lot to Love event. And that, you know, that offer is gonna be directly to that person. You got the first name, the last name, their email address and phone number. That offer is sent directly to them. And what better way to generate a lead and give them a really good deal to come in and, you know, buy from you. Your display messaging, making sure that you've got that good sales messaging, your ad creatives, setting up special targeting. Maybe you're looking for people that are in market. If you're going after your browsers or if you're going after your researchers, you're trying to create awareness. Display, social media, and video are gonna be your three types of platforms that are the best for creating that, um, creating that buzz and that awareness. So higher funnel traffic, but it's gonna get you a lot of eyeballs for a little bit less money. Think about, you know, think about, obviously, this is going to be a recurring theme. Always think about your budget. Don't think that because you have a set budget every month, maybe spending $5,000 every month, that that's going to be something that's going to carry you over for any type of special sales events. So within that marketing calendar, make sure that you have a budget that you want to think about for all of these events. Videos, you can do anything from branding and incentives to car walkthroughs and test drives. Those are going to be a couple of tips that you can help bring your marketing calendar to life. So a couple of key takeaways really quickly. i um, going to circle back around. Align your dealership sales. Uh, align your dealership from sales to service. It's going to help you with your marketing calendar. Um, it's going to help you maintain that brand loyalty. You want to keep your potential customers engaged throughout the buying cycle. So that's going to help you as well when you have that marketing calendar. Helps you coordinate messaging across all of your marketing channels all of your marketing channels, and then you're going to promote proactive thinking to ensure preparedness. Thank you for joining our webinar today. Hope it was very quick and informative for you. If you have any questions, please send them over to me in the chat box, and I will answer them as quickly as I can. So I will wait for a little while for questions to come in. All right, so it looks like we've got a question coming in. Um, one second, let me take a look at this. So the question is, can I have too many events on my marketing calendar? So the answer to this question is, it's more kind of a yes and no question. Um, you can have as many events as you want on your marketing calendar that you're able to successfully um, successfully execute. There may be times when you you know are not able to actually you know execute the events on your calendar. However, making sure that you have an abundance of events to one choose from and to um, you know utilize in your efforts to get in front of people will always make you know will always be um, more of a, a good idea than that. You don't want to have too few because then you don't have any opportunities to get in front of customers. So I have one more question. I have a marketing calendar, but I'm not seeing an increase in traffic. So this is a really good question. You have a marketing calendar, but you're not seeing an increase in traffic. So when you think about something in terms of an increase in traffic, let's let's take a look at maybe some things that are going on in the dealership. You've got your marketing calendar all set up and ready to go. 
Now, are you actually marketing these events? Are you actually, how are you marketing these events? If you're only doing, you know, maybe like Memorial Day, did you, you know, increase your budget to go along with that? Um, and with the increase in traffic, maybe, you know, are, are they, you know, are they getting to, um, and they get into the dealership website and then, you know, making a phone call and then the BDC may not be operating at 100 percent. So you have to think about a couple of things when you, um, you have to think about a couple of things when you're not seeing that increase in traffic. You want to make sure your budget is increasing at the same time as your um, your traffic so that you can actually handle that and everything can kind of flow through smoothly. Alrighty, if we don't have any more questions, I am going to let you guys go. Um, and you know, as as always, if you have any questions, please send an email over to Liz F at purecards.com. Thank you for joining and have a good day.